Okay, hi everyone. I was going to do a quick demo of how the Air Engine actually works, uh, just by showing you the insides of the model in SolidWorks. Um, in the video, you can see compressed air is supplied through the hose here uh, at this like top inlet port. I'm just going to hide the top so that we can see into the inside of the engine. So you can see it's fairly simple. There's only two moving parts besides the parts on the uh, crankshaft. There's the piston, and then here is the inlet valve. This controls where the high pressure air goes, and the piston will just move depending on where it's supplied. To make this a little easier to visualize, I'm going to do a section view, sort of cutting the engine in half, so you can see these individual veins in the inlet shaft. So in the video, I start with the inlet uh, the inlet valve all the way to one side and the piston in the middle of its displacement. And what happens is high pressure air enters in this middle chamber and you can see there's a vein here that allows it to move to the front of the piston. So right now the, the piston will start to move backwards. And, and as it does you can see the air behind the piston gets, the volume gets smaller, but we aren't compressing that air because that would waste energy. So what it's doing is it's exhausting it out this other valve, out, out this other vein right here. So once the piston gets to bottom dead center, you can see the valve is moving quite fast here and the piston is moving very little. And then eventually the valve will get to this other part and you can see now the high pressure air chamber is connected to the other side of the engine. So what's going to happen is the high pressure air is going to enter here and start moving the piston back. And while this is happening, you can see the exhaust does have a way to exit the engine so that we're not building up extra pressure. So now we're in uh, the, the kind of the inverse state to where we started. The piston's in the middle again, but the valve is on the other side of the engine, and the piston's moving in the other direction. So let's just keep moving forward. You can see as the piston nears top dead center, the inlet valve is starting to move again. And then when piston gets to top dead center, the valve is moving as fast as it possibly can to get over and supply high pressure air to the other side of the engine. So once it gets here again, uh, the piston is going to get pushed back. And now you can see we are in the cycle where we started, where the valve is all the way to the left and the piston is in the middle. Uh, and the, the critical part that allows all this to happen is the timing on the crankshaft, or uh, the flywheel, I should say. What allows these two parts to move out of sync like this is having both of them 90 degrees out of phase. So you can see, if I just line up with the crankshaft, sorry, the flywheel, uh, right now this, this push rod is connected to the inlet valve, and it is about, it's about on the, this axis of the wheel. And if we turn around and view the pistons, it is on this axis. So what this does is it keeps both of the parts 90 degrees out of phase. So when the piston is moving as fast as it possibly can, the valve should be stopped. And that's what we would want. Like in this starting position, we want the piston to be moving when it's in the middle. But during this time, we want to be supplying high pressure air to one side of the engine. So we wouldn't want the valve to move. We would want it to stay there and uh, just supply the air. Conversely, when the piston reaches top dead center or bottom dead center, we want the valve to quickly move over so that we can supply high pressure air to the other side of the engine. So as you can see, in this state, the valve can move quite a bit and the piston is moving very little. So the valve has time to move over and the piston waits for it. And then once it gets over, then the piston is gonna start to move faster and now the valve will stall. So that's, uh, that's how the engine works.